Under a minute, nine point lead. I still think AM has a great shot at a two. They'll sort it all out. We'll know a little bit more than 24 hours from now. We'll go inside, Gant missed the shot, and that should do it. These seniors for Baylor have been wanting a championship. They need to at least get it past midcourt so that AM doesn't have to inbound it down there at their end if they're going to not shoot it. Well, 13 second difference, shot clock the game yeah, clock, the celebration begins. The hug from Kim Mulkey, <laughs> Leon Barmore, and that will do it. Baylor has it, and Baylor, with their least amount of turnovers all season long, they ride that to a championship. A class that came in after a national championship goes out after a conference championship. The final score, Baylor 72, Texas A&M 63, the 2009. Phillips 66, Big 12 postseason champions. postseason champions, the Lady Bears of Baylor. It was a, a rocky road at the end of the season, but one that ends as a championship run as we go to Brenda Van Langen. All right, Kim Mulkey, you haven't had a tournament championship since 2005, the year you won the national championship. Tell us how this feels right now. Championships are championships, uh, Brenda. I'm going to keep it in perspective. I said before the game that um, win or lose this game, this team has won enough to get a one seed, and nobody believes me when I tell you we miss Danielle Wilson, guys, but my gosh, what else can we do? We've kept winning. I'm so happy for our seniors. How is it that your team has played so well without your leading scorer and rebounder? How is it they've played so well? Because people that follow our team must understand this comment. Danielle Wilson was our leading scorer and rebounder, but she doesn't have the impact on our team that a Courtney Paris would if you lost her for OU. Danielle Wilson, if you look at our stats, was a part of a team that had scoring from all positions. Danielle Wilson was on this same team last year, and she came off the bench. None of us knew Danielle was going to have this kind of year. I knew we could continue to win without Danielle. I've said it. Now we've proved it. And let the chips fall where they may. Thank you so much, Kim. Go enjoy your celebration with your team. Now over to Debbie with Jasmine Player. All right, Brenda, thanks. Jazz, you've been waiting a long time for this championship. How's it feel representing all the seniors that you have on your team? How's it feel? This is how it feels. I hear. It feels good, man. We've worked long and we've worked hard in the 
seniors are able to step up today. This feels great. This is my first one. Jazz, you're down 10 in the first half. Coach Mulkey switches to the zone. Morgan Medlock came off the bench and played fantastic. How were you guys able to turn it around? I don't remember the last time we played that zone. Coach Barmore tied it to us, so whatever he teaches us is golden. We were able to move around a little bit. I'm telling you, we have, I don't remember the last time we ran that zone, but all we had to do was find shooters and try to contain Gantt. You only had six points in the first half. You had 19 in the second. What was it about you offensively and your mindset that changed? You looked like you wanted the basketball. It's it. I want a ring, period. Baylor deserves a ring, and we went out and we got it today. Where do you care what happens to you in the NCAA tournament? Coach Mulkey thinks you're a one, maybe a two. I know you study the game on the national level. What are your thoughts? I think we're a one. Best conference in the country. We win the, the conference tournament without. Everybody says Daniel Wilson was our backbone. We won it without her. We love Dee, and we know Dee's a great asset to this team, but we got to keep trucking, and we got to keep playing. You can't deny it because we won the tournament. Look at this place. What's going to happen for you guys while you wait for your selection? What will take place this week as you prep? Practice. A lot of practice, a lot more bar, more defense. It'll be great. All right, Jess, congratulations Thank on winning you. a title. Thanks, Kevin, get it back over to you. Well, Jessica Morrow, the most outstanding player in this tournament. It was a run for these Lady Bears of Baylor that all started in this postseason being down by 15 to Oklahoma State, surviving that, coming from behind to get that victory there, then outlasting Iowa State yesterday. And Jessica Morrow, a big part of that. But like Kim Mulkey said, it's all about the team concept to win championships. And her team can be called champion as they win the 2009 championship of the Phillips 66 Big 12 Women's Basketball Championship. Bring it back home to Waco, their first since 2005. The celebration begins as the Lady Bears of Baylor get the victory here in Oklahoma City. You take a look at the all-tournament team, Danielle Gant and Tanisha Smith coming from Texas A&M. Morgan Medlock, who was absolutely outstanding in this game. And lest we forget what she was able to do in that first half, she was the reason Baylor was able to really turn things around with that 26-8 run in the first half, along with Jasmine Player in this ball game. So it's Baylor with the victory. And a chance again for this team that came in the seniors in this class that came in after a national championship they knew that the ones before them well they built the buildings they won the big ring they had nothing to do with that and they owed them now they are considered champions again baylor with its first postseason championship since 2005 when they went on to win it all. We want to thank all of you for watching all season long. Thanks so much to all the people who worked so very hard to bring you Big 12 women's basketball. My thanks to my partners, Brenda Van Langen, along with Debbie Antonelli. And once again, Kevin Eschenfelder saying so long from Oklahoma City. Baylor, the 09 champion. Here's a look at the Big 12 championship set to song. Live Your Dreams, written and performed by John Martin.